I want to say welcome to Best Pro Trade. Uh, before we start, uh, we have a disclosure, and it is uh, very important to be aware of the risk in the future trading. Uh, today, uh, we will be um, uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, the automated trading, and I think I got uh, uh, the wrong uh, screen. Uh, just a second, please. What we will do, uh, we will um, um, highlight what's going on in the market. Uh, at the same time, we will be uh, covering uh, some of the automated trading and uh, we can use uh, the swing trading the price action and the scalping so we will uh, start first with the automated uh, um, uh, price action and then uh, this one here has uh, three different automated trading and uh, an atm or an atm strategy or we can use fully automated without uh, touching the chart and the same time what we are doing we are using or sharing uh, our free signal and then uh, even if you are an automated trade we're gonna analyze this market uh, piece by piece uh, to see what's going on in this market and then we start covering some of the uh, automated trading and the scalping trading so we are sharing our free signal for free so please, if there's any decision you make in your trade, uh, you cannot hold us responsible. We're just trying to help uh, because a lot of traders asked me to go back uh, live and uh, highlight what's going on in the market. And uh, we, we're not trying to mislead you or anything like that. We just let you know what's going on in the market and it's up to you what kind of decision you make. This has nothing to do with us. So we're not collecting any uh, emails. We're not uh, trying to promote anything here, but uh, we will try to highlight what's going on. And hopefully this is will help uh, some of the traders, especially the guys are automated trading. They are missing a lot of knowledge in the market. So you can understand sometimes why your auto trade can struggle or what doesn't matter which auto trade you are using or uh, whether it's ours or somebody else or why your auto trade is making money by understanding the movement in the market so you will understand why you are losing that trade on an auto trade and why you are making money on that despite what kind of auto trade you are using as an example for the ones they are not aware of the system you have on the top the market analyzer on the left upper corner we give you the sell entry and then we give you the number then we give you the entry number uh, the entry price um, and then uh, we give you the target and then we give you the PNL your PNL is uh, based on the ticks and then uh, the total amount uh, of uh, it seems like the, the top is cutting off so I'm probably gonna lower it a little bit so can hold I hope uh, you can see that I'm not sure but um, if you look on the top I'm gonna lower this one here I'm not sure you can see it uh, but um, uh, you can see the entry signal the new signal entry type safe entry this is on a uh, base on the pullback uh, entry price target how many ticks we have on that automated and it is a life uh, it's not a, a replay and then your PNL and uh, when once the target hit we get the target hit uh, one of the things is uh, uh, for the ones before we start analyzing what's going on in the market uh, for the ones uh, they uh, uh, for I don't know how many uh, traders are there they like uh, the DAX uh, but before we start we, we I like to show uh, the trades on uh, what we have done with the DAX this morning on the swing trading. Uh, we have one trade, two trades on the DAX. 
usually if you want to start the DAX, uh, uh, you, I mean, I do start around 4 o'clock or 4.30 morning Eastern time. And then we have one small trade on the DAX. And then we enter the market around 5.10.22. 5.10.22 and we just close that trade based on one contract and we close at uh, 10.15.03. So this is uh, took uh, two trades uh, on the DAX and this one based on 288 ticks and this is was uh, superb. Uh, let me uh, try uh, if I can try to find a way to catch my monitor just one one second please okay uh on the also uh, this is on the 600 takes we just closed the position and uh, we had one lousy short uh, uh losing trade and we entered the market at uh, 5.32.21, and we just closed right now, and it was 48.20. And um, let me uh, try to grab one more on the swing trading. This is the 244. It's the same story. We have one short trade. It's a losing trade. Then we took a trade. Market order. All of them are market order. And we took a trade. The entry at 742. And we exit at uh, 101427. So this one also uh, very good. For the ones that do not like a higher time frame, uh, I'll show you also uh uh the one minute and the the smaller time frame and this is the dax and this one here based on the three minutes and also we have one losing trade on the three minutes and then we have an entry at 742 non-stop and it took that trade uh until we close that position at 10 18. Uh, the same story. I want to show one the higher time frame, and then I'll show you the smaller time frame for the ones they trade the DAX. Uh, on this one here, we had this a little few trades. We have one, two, three trades, uh, and this is based on an eight range, and uh, we got eight hundred and thirteen. Uh, on uh, my favorite chart, actually, is the one minute because the one minute can reveal the true trend in the market and this is a base on actually we took a few there is one losing trade two losing trade one almost a break even and then once the market starts spiking we got 855.90 and uh, nevertheless the least and then it is the three range for the ones don't want to deal with a, a very high time frame you can also use a three range or four range. I like the three range. It is a very uh, aggressive chart. And if we notice also, we have one losing trade and then uh, immediately uh, we were done uh, at 447. Actually, we start on the three range at uh, 431 and we were done at uh, 447. Uh, nailed 650. So those are uh, the morning DAX. And we still have in, uh, some still open uh, position, but we're not going to uh, deal with it right now. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, analyze uh, this market uh, for the NASDAQ ES. This is the most popular uh, instruments, uh, ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones, and also uh, if you want to, we can uh, uh, highlight some of the uh, CL. And if you have any instruments in your head, uh, you like us to add it, we will be more than glad uh, to show you. Uh, the, uh, we, uh, if we have uh, the data, uh, we will add it for you. If this will help you, and then we will help you analyze in this market. So let's go ahead and try to understand what's going on in the market uh, based on <clears throat> uh, 
Actually, I'd like to uh, highlight some of uh, the scalping before we start. Actually, this is not bad on the scalping today. And this is uh, not a limited order. This is a market order. And we practically did very well uh, earlier this morning on the scalping using one minute and 150 takes. So this is not bad at all. It is really, uh, today, it's been uh, uh, very good uh, for. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, cover uh, the, uh, the the NASDAQ. Uh, we have an entry on the NASDAQ. You can see it from the top here on the NASDAQ. We have an entry price at uh, 69. 37.75, the target is 6.9.11.25. So what we see here is the target has hit before once and now it hits one more time. So actually you gotta be careful with the short trade and it was a very beautiful ride and all those made actually 100 ticks. Now we have a new signal on the CL, let's move on right away to the CL signal. And uh, let's try uh, to see uh, what is the entry on the CL. Uh, the entry on the CL is 7260. This is very good because uh, the, uh, the is followed by this number here. We have a very major resistance and it looked like we broke it. And the entry is 7260 and uh, the target is 7285. 7285 and you can see the buyers are coming on your market analyzer and we are about to hit the target at um, uh, 7282 7282 is your target and it is done in seconds so those are your entry And uh, once we are hitting this uh, target, 7280 uh, or 7282, uh, there is no more uh, a trade to the long side. If you don't know the system why, uh, it is very easy. If we notice, we have those two yellow line. I don't know why this Ninja Trader today doing this to me, uh, but uh, it's been flashing like this, but it will come out. If we notice on the middle of the chart, on the CL one minute, we have the Fib line at 72.73. Uh, the target is 72.83, where most likely you will hit the target. But uh, the problem is once you get to those two yellow lines, there is once the market dive in between those two yellow lines, does mean there is no more long trade. It is finished and done and over. Uh, with a, a long trade. Uh, so uh, we are about, we got the reversal here, but I'm very sure we're going to gain a little momentum to hit the target at 72.83. Uh, Let me try to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit clearly. If we notice, this is your entry, your floor and fibs, your floor and fibs is 72.45, which is your trading stop. And it is your major, uh, your major uh, support line is 72.40. Your target is 72.82. This is, it is day in and a day out. It never fell, almost it never fell. And uh, we will see uh, what's going on in this uh, uh, ES uh, on the CL. Uh, let's cover and uh, look uh, what's going on uh, on the ES. And uh, we can see if there's anything we can make sense out of uh, some of those markets and we try to find a new signal and we will share the new signal once we have an entry like we did on the CL. I will be more than glad to share it with you. Uh, actually, the 30-year Treasury bond has been doing extremely well for the 30-year Treasury bond. 
um, um, let's let's go ahead and cover the ES, and then we'll go back on the uh, on the. Um, uh, here is your uh, your ES. We're still on the short side. Uh, we had the cell entry. And we already hit the target. Anything uh, around 70, uh, 27, 30, 25, this is where you need to start, uh, close your position to the short side and you need to start looking for a long. Uh, on the pullback, on the pullback, uh, we have the re-entry point, and this is uh, very, very important for the ES trader. I'll try to explain to you what's going on on the ES so you will not fall to the strap. Uh, right now, we have a resistance line at 27.36, fair enough. And we hit the target, and you can see where this market flirting with the 36th level. Fair enough. And it's going probably to test it all the way to the 31.75. Very good. One thing here right now on the ES, we, we have a double resistance at 27.39, followed by another resistance, 27.39.25 followed by re-entry point. The re-entry point, it is a very well calculated on the re-entry point that most of the time the market reverse from those uh, numbers, you know. So they are very important, those numbers 3950, following by also first a resistance line, which is your Fib uh, 3975. So to cut the story short, you have a major resistance line above the 2739 level. And the probability on that market uh, to penetrate all those levels here, it require a lot of buying power in order for that market uh, to break out. So, so we are very safe uh, to stay on the short uh, as long as uh, we are below the 27.39, even if this ES is going uh, to go back to the 27.39, most likely uh, it will be rejected, and the, the is probably 8 out of 10, it will be re uh, rejected. So it is very important uh, to understand uh, that uh, if you see some uh, movement on the ES does not mean it's long. You are uh, very far from long on the ES. And it is actually, we have a thick wall on the 27.39. And uh, we will see uh, the outcome on that one here. But you mark my word, the ES is going to struggle at that number. If we are looking at the NASDAQ, If we notice this line here and that line here, they are coming together. And if we, if you can read that number here, it says 69.2450. This is your true average price. And you will see the NASDAQ sitting right there to the tick because this is where we determine on the NASDAQ uh, if we are able to break those lines. So be careful with that. If you want to trade, whether it's long or short, wait a few seconds or pause your auto trade because we, we have a very key here at 69.2450. And it is very important to see that number been penetrated. So I'm going to make it a little bit big to see if that number, this is the true number on the NASDAQ. So let's see. Look where is the NASDAQ hold on to, 
this is your magic number you got to uh, now we are followed by double resistance so be careful if you are thinking about taking long on the nasdaq wait and wait on the breakout pullback re-entry but do not jump on the nasdaq right now for long it is a very your odd uh, to take a trade uh, on the long here uh, it's going to be almost impossible to make anything out of it so let's wait Uh, for the ones are interested in the uh, Forex, I made it a little bit cleaner. Uh, you have a sell entry, save a re-entry, uh, and then you have the trend stop and trend stop and your target. So I try to simplify it a little bit and not make it uh, complicated. So hopefully it will be clean enough uh, for you to, to understand that market right now. And uh, you have a target. Let's go to the uh euro dollar this is my favorite instrument It's not a close position, but we have a, a new signal on the euro dollar, and the target is 177.17. Let's look on the Aussie dollar. It's the same problem. Okay, let's go back to the NASDAQ. You can see uh, this is a really uh, a short entry right there on the NASDAQ. And we are testing the 69.11 even. For the one took the entry on the CL. Uh, our target on the CL, 72.82, folks. The target on the CL, uh, it is uh, 72.82. 82 once we hit this target there is nothing left to go long on the CL It's done It's over Let's look at the YM If you have a short on the Nasdaq your destination is 691075 Uh, there, uh, for the guys who's uh, automating uh, the YM, despite which uh, system you have, whether it's our auto trade or somebody else auto trade, if you are automated uh, trading the YM, you're gonna be having a little problems with the YM today. Uh, at the moment, uh, the reason is here is your sell entry, and actually there is not much movement. We are waiting on the ES following by a support line and a major double support line is right below that so there is not much movement and the market getting stuck between the fib and the trailing stop is another floor in fibs so the ym is getting caught in those channel here and if you are manual or automated trading you gotta be thinking twice about automated the ym right now it is a very difficult uh, area right now for the automated to take any trade even uh, if you are using a higher time frame if you are on a longer uh, time frame like uh, on the swing trade then let me give you an example this is a total different story and now if we look at the five minutes we have uh, took that trade long time ago on the five minutes at 10 15 and if we look at the three minutes uh, also, it's the same story on the three minutes. The automated trade took it at um, uh, at, um, at ten o three. So this is a a lot of movement here on the three minutes on the YM. So we 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 put it on the side, and we will see the three minutes and the five minutes. 
but the short trade if you are on a short trade uh, is fine but you cannot and this is uh, but you cannot take a short trade right here right now uh, the reason is we have a double support here and this market most likely it will project so I would not look at this look at the YM this is where the area this YM is going to project so this is an idea if you're on a short trade or you are using automated trade you're probably better off to close your position as is right now and if you are still a little bit uh, aggressive you can wait and then you can get the whole enchilada but i i doubt it if the es is not gonna go down this one is not gonna nail it so uh, this one here based on the three minutes and five minutes uh this one three minutes and five minutes that can uh, bring you a pretty good idea what's going on on the ym let's go back on the nasdaq you see, that's exactly what we estimated. And now we are going back and forth between those two lines. So be careful with the NASDAQ, stay on the side, whether you are a manual or to automate it. And uh, the ES has actually hit the target. So there is not much going on. We are waiting on a new signal and uh, there is uh, nothing we can do at the moment with this market, nothing we can do. Whoever took a short is probably doing extremely well and whoever sit on the side you have to and you decided to take a trade uh, you gotta be approaching this market a little bit more careful because actually i do not find any entry at the moment and um, the resistance line is 69.22 on the nasdaq you can uh, risk it at 62 uh, 69.22 short if you want to uh, but uh, uh, this is the only thing I can see, the only gap I can find on the, the NASDAQ at the moment. Uh, on the YM, it's too late to do anything. Let's look at the ES. A lot of traders like to take a trade on the ES. Uh, the ES is already hitting the target. And uh, uh, once it hit the target, and we are getting to this yellow lines here, this final, that's mean... Um, probably you still have a little beef here all the way to the 3075 but this is not enough for you to risk a trade uh, for just a few ticks a few lousy ticks i mean they're nothing it's, i mean barely a couple points you know so they're not worth to to chew on on this one here one of the advantage you can do on the price action by uh, using uh, uh, the uh, stand using uh, two contracts or three contracts on an automated trade you can follow those signal manual or automated and and you can take one contract because like we see here this market analyzer is based on one contract so you can take one contract ES, one contract NASDAQ, and one contract YM as an example. We don't need the Russell. Those are very cheap market to trade. And in the same way, uh, that it is, uh, will, uh, if we notice on the ES, we have 150, we have a NASDAQ 346 based on one contract, and we have a 350 on the YM based on one contract. So if we are looking at the total is seven, eight hundred dollars uh, on the one contract uh, ES, one contract NASDAQ and one contract YM. So if you think uh, how much money you are investing on one contract ES and one contract NASDAQ and one contract YM, uh, how much you are uh, invest, uh, investing, uh, 1,000, 1,500 at the most, so if you can get five hundred dollars out of 1500 this is very good because also you have to think about some days you're not gonna make it but one of the things is when you are hedging the market if the es did go south today or the ym did go south or the nasdaq did go south you still have the other two this is the smart way uh, to hedge the future market uh, that is uh, uh, making it safe for you and um, uh, if we notice right now, we have, let's look at the YM, what's going on in the YM. You see, 
that's exactly what we expected on the YM. And I said, if you wanted to, to close this YM right now, you can do that. Let's look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ came back exactly to the same area, 92475. This is where your true average price and then supported by double resistance. This is the third time. If we look at this chart, you see the NASDAQ has hit the same line three times and fell. So that the, uh, the, the market is telling you where is my problem. It's telling you where is the problem coming from is the 2450. It's telling you right there. So this is, if the NASDAQ is not able to penetrate this one here, require a lot of buyers. So this is a very good potential and a very cheap trade to short out this market and put your, uh, um, uh, your stop loss above this line. So it's costing you very little money, whether it's going to make it or break it. If we notice now, it's trying so hard to break that area here. This is the fourth time it's coming. This is one time, two times, three times, four times. It's coming to the same area, trying to penetrate, dancing around the 69, 24, 50. And look at it, guys. Look at it, guys. It's to the take. So this is where this is where the advantage when somebody can just memorize a few lines. This is the advantage between an automated trading and, and uh, this one here can be picked up. And uh, this is a short trade, and your investment on it is no more than $50 because it's a $5 per take, and uh, your stop loss should be no more than $26.75. And um, so if this market going to make it, it's going to go to those two lines, either a 69, 10, 50, or it's going to the 69, 0, 75. Now look, it's coming again, trying. So on, on, on cases like this, you ask me, Sam, what we should look when uh, to give us confirmation if this NASDAQ is going to break that area. One of the things you should always use is your ES because your ES is the best signal in the house. The ES presenting the 500 company. So if this ES is struggling, believe me or not, the YM... Most of the time, the NASDAQ takes off by itself. We're not going to argue about that. But uh, uh, the NASDAQ stops when the ES has to face a major areas. Despite if it going to different direction, uh, the ES, uh, if it's going to major area, the NASDAQ will stop until confirmed that uh, ES is going to uh, break that area. So um, if we notice, it fell again. It fell again. This is one, two, three, four, five. And it fell again to penetrate the 69 at 24 and 50. I apologize about this middle uh, chart. I don't know why it's blinking like a Christmas tree. It's not a Christmas yet, but it seems Ninja Trader already is in the Christmas mood. Um, let's look at the CL. 72, 73. For the guys who follow the signal on the, uh, on the CL, we had the entry at 72 level, uh, 60, and now we are at 69 level. Uh, we got around 10 ticks out of that, but the target is 72.83, and there is no more short trade. Look at the NASDAQ. It's trying one more time. Look at this NASDAQ. Keep your eye on the NASDAQ if you are a NASDAQ trader. 69.24.50. There is some buyers coming on the CL. Let's see if it's going to break the 72.73 this time. Look how many times the CL on the same line. Look, and look at the NASDAQ. Is this an accident, guys? Every day is an accident. Every single day is an accident. This is a life market. So,
let's look at the ES. Still on the same target, 27, 36, 25. Once we hit this target, nothing has happened uh, to the ES. Nothing has happened. It's just going back and forth. Let's go back on the NASDAQ. The same story, YM. The same story. So uh, this is where patient is required um, and and if we we try to see what we can do with this business here uh, sometimes uh, an automated trading is very fine it can um, um, take all the stress from us but um, as an example when I called to close your automated trade on the YM you were double the amount so knowledge uh, about a few lines, I don't want to teach a price action, but knowledge about a few lines, very simple lines, because everything is plotted for you on the chart, that can make a lot of difference. Even for a guy is not a, a professional trader, when he sees that a 72, 73 hold one time, two times, three times, four times, six times, seven times, is the same story with the NASDAQ, the same line, that indicate that if you are taking a short here or you put your stop loss right there you know above it or you take a short here and you put your stop loss above it you know those are a very cheap trade with the risk reward this is a very nice risk reward it's not costing you 25 ticks it's not costing you 30 ticks it's costing you just a few ticks here and there in order for you to make it so um, so those are knowledge it is very good to have uh, uh, not the price action god forbid but at least to understand what is fib what is your entry what is your trailing stop and what is your target and once we come into the critical area that's mean you need to stop that's it i mean this one it takes a couple of weeks training uh, uh and um so for the guys that follow me, um, they have learned it uh, within a week. Uh, right now, not much going on. Uh, let's look. Uh, for our members also, you can always uh, see uh, if there's uh, any, anything going on uh, from your scalpers. If we are, the majority is long or short. But uh, this is funny because now the market is sideways. If we notice, uh, there is not even, oh, there is only one trade, 30-year treasury bond short. But if we notice all of them, most of them are not taking any trade. That tells you right there, I mean, out of one, two, three, four, five, 10, 20 chart, we only have one opening position. No, now we have two opening position. We have a long on NASDAQ, uh, but uh, we have out of 20 chart, we have only two opening position. This is a, this is indicate that the market is a bit sideways. Uh, um, we have a, on the scalper, we have a long trade on the scalper. Yeah, here it is. You see it? Okay, let's see. We are waiting on a new signal, guys. Um, once we get the new signal, we call them off for you. I'm hoping to get a new signal soon. Uh, the Russell has... Uh, forget the Russell, I don't want to confuse anyone. Let's say ES, NASDAQ and Dow Jones. 
those three have six, seven, eight, almost nine hundred dollars. Those three based on one contract. This is not bad at all. Uh, on the scalper, the Nasdaq did not make it on that scalper. I have to show you good trades and the bad trades. And if we notice the scalper, okay, now start breaking even. But uh, it was south actually. And uh, this is the only trade out of a 20 chart. We have only one trade open. This is sad. So we're looking for a new uh, entry signal. At the moment, we only got a new signal on the ES, and uh, we notify you guys that there is a new signal entry. And uh, the entry was at uh, 72. 72 72.59. And now we are hitting the target at 72.80. And um, so also we we are struggling. The reason we're struggling with the 72.73. So there is only 10 ticks on that signal. And hopefully we can get the other 10 on it. So on that trade, there is only 20 ticks on the CL. So let's see. This is one thing is uh, very funny sometimes it scares the hell out of me and uh, for if there's any of our traders out there uh you have to keep your eye for the ones from our traders uh that the market is in sequence and and every time when the market is not in sequence you need to hold your eye on it because I mean, this is very funny when you see the 30-year treasury bond on the sell position, if you notice on the left upper, and then you have the ES is going on the same direction. That indicate, every time I see that, uh, uh, that uh, indicate is gonna be a lot of losing traders on the table, every time. Because it has to be in sequence, and it's not in sequence. When, when the ES Nasdaq YM has to be on the same direction, and the thirty-year Treasury bond should be going on the opposite direction. But when the thirty-year Treasury bond going on the same direction, so somebody is wrong here. So, always for our traders, you look at your market analyzer. You don't need to be a genius trader. But if the 30-year treasury bond going, synchronizing on the same direction of your ES and NASDAQ and YM, then push a full break and do not touch this market because it could go, okay, we hit the target, uh, 72, 82. We nailed 29 ticks on that uh, CL uh, from where we called the signal for you. We have the entry at 72. 60 and uh, the target was 7282 on the chart and we hit it and watch this there's nothing left on the cl watch this folks for the ones is following me on the cl you're done you took the entry you made 25 takes and look at this look how the cl is going to fall once we hit the target the CL is between those two yellow lines, so there is no more long trade, and it is over. It is over and is over. So less, um, you cannot trade the CL, and it's not tradable, the CL, anymore. With all the respect to the all the uh, professional traders out there laying their 15 minutes chart, I do. I look at my 15 minutes chart. I look at my 5, five minutes chart. And I look at my one minute and the three minutes. 
but with all the respect, there is nothing left at the moment on the CL. Nothing. And uh, it's over. Once you hit the target, it's going to go sideways for a lot of minutes before we have a new indication to different direction. So once we hit the target, you can see how it hit the target to the clock and nothing has happened after that. So for the guy who entered the signal entry and put his CL target, he nailed the max on that trade and he has not missed out on anything. Let's go back on the EAS. As we said from the beginning on the ES, we have a, have a hell of a right. Anything above the 2739 level. I repeat again, we have a double resistance here, following by the Florin Fibs. It is your trailing stop. Okay, we have one position close on the YM. And then the trailing stop too. Uh, it is your uh, uh, major uh Trends and anything above that is going to be changing signals and you have the safe entry is way above. So on the EIS is a, is a sad story and a sad story, anything above the 2739. Anything above the 2739 is a very sad story at the moment. Nonetheless, if we have some buyers are able, heavy buyers are able to penetrate every single line. And I doubt it. So this is a really confusion day uh, for the trader, whether you are automated or not. This is a hell of a confusion uh, place uh, to take a trade on the ES. The only option is on your ES is to short out anything below the 2739. Once the market is going to test the 39 level, this is where you need to short out your trade. So it has to be around 2738.75. You put your trade here, 2738.75. We're not responsible for your trade. Is it just, um, it is for educational purposes. If you take any trade, we're not responsible. Neither you can hold us uh, responsible for your trade. So this is where uh, 38.75. Uh, this is the only entry I can do. Now, for the advanced trader, probably he's going to take a long here and short it and close it out here, reverse the market. But we don't want to confuse the traders, so let's stay simple. Uh, the short is at 38.75, and this is the only trade I can see at the moment on the ES. Anything between those two lines is going to be, you are sitting on a, on, on a very high risk table here. If we notice here, uh, if we whether, well, whatever auto trade you are using, before you start getting faster trade, uh, fast traded with your auto trade, this doesn't matter which auto trade, whether it's from us or somebody else. This area here, the market is getting stuck between those two channels here. And if this market not move in your auto trade, because a lot of traders, they don't understand where you want your auto trade to make money for you when this market is going one bar up and one bar down. So there is no ticks. So let's simplify that. How are you going to get hair out of a bullheaded man? You're not going to get any. The same way here, you're not going to get any beef here. There is nothing in here. It's flat. So again, folks, if we look at the CL after we hit the target, there is nothing left in there. On the ES, the only trade, <laughs> and now we have a projection at uh, 38.25. This is a nightmare on the ES if you are a manual or you are an automated trader, not aware of the problem. Look at this. This one here is going to drive you crazy. Watch the ES, how it is going to be troubled. Now we have... We have developed another resistance at 37.75. We have a projection 38.25. We have a heavy resistance at 27.39. We have a major resistance and a re-entry signal at 39.50. And this is the final destination at 27.40. So if you're asking me where I need to go long, I'll tell you when I go start looking at the long side 
anything above the 41 i start looking that's uh, that's mean around three four points from now anything i wanted to go long it has to be above the 41 level and watch this es folks watch this es and let's look how it is struggling to the tick those are your 35 dollars zone look at this where the market projected 37.75 this is our resistance right there if you notice when we are covering the es a lot of buyers try to push this market because it was a blinking this is when uh, on our chart when you see it is a blinking there is buyers and seller a lot of buyers they try to break the 72.85 and it fell it fell and now they are trying so hard to break those area look at it and now we've been after we hit the target we've been over half an hour not able to go anything anywhere above the target line so let's look at the es folks 37.75 this is where our resistance and it's staying right there. We're not trying to depress you here. What we are trying to do is uh, try to make you understand why this market sometimes move and why sometimes this market um, does make money and why it seems like a lot of people are missing with this uh, um, Let's look on the even on the forex. Even on the Forex, you can see how the lines are accurate and you can see where it's been projected. Where is the target? Uh, the target is all the way down here is uh, 397 even. Look what happened to the CL, folks. Nothing happened after the target. Nothing. Nothing. Look at the ES. You have a double resistance line on the ES, 3775 and 38, and, and, and we have a projection at 3825 and a double resistance on 39. Good luck with that if you want to go long, folks. So this is our job. What we are trying to say is uh, if we can avoid a guy uh, taking long in some area or short in some area, all what we are doing, we are spotlighting what's going on and then it is up to you guys to make a decision or not do not follow my trades do not follow my system uh, we are just helping and uh, uh, we hope we can um, uh, if we can keep one or two traders out of trouble that makes me happy if you can do better please be my guest you know enjoy trading you know so now uh 38 and 37.75 that's the problem on the es cl fell that's why i left the cl on purpose after we have the signal entry if you watch the video we had the signal entry whoever followed that trade we set the target 72.86 we nailed the target and after the target nothing has happened on the cl and if you notice right now the es we predicted exactly what will happen on the uh, uh, es so let's look at the nasdaq and it is the same story nothing happening look at this you see that how you want anything how you're gonna be making money with this area here nothing you cannot do that so that tells you folks sometimes you need to sit on the side 
and nothing we can do uh, to take a trade. Uh, sometimes patient, patient, patient. Sometimes the doors are open to make money and sometimes the doors are closed. You have to sit on the side and there is nothing you can do. Normally on any given market, there is no more than three, four trades a day. Especially this message to the guys that want to auto trade 24 7. There is only around three, four good trades a day. And if it's on a good running days, you have maybe seven or eight trades on a good running days. But the rest is nothing but noises, as you see right now. For the last half an hour, there is nothing but noises. Nothing here but noises, and here nothing. Look at this. Is a one flat market is one trouble market especially if you are auto trading and you are not aware doesn't matter which auto trade you are using if you are using an auto trade trading with a trend you are in a deep trouble today with the nasdaq i don't care what kind of auto trade you are using you're not gonna make it so so why the nasdaq didn't make money look at the chart and if your auto trade didn't make money believe me a normal trader did not make money manual either where where he's gonna be making money from if this one minute is a flat which trader has made money out of it so most of the time if you're auto trader and make it does mean nobody made it okay we we nailed the cl nothing uh, to do with the cl anymore uh, we there is no more trade on the nasdaq there is no more trade on the es and um let me see if there's anything we have here to chew on. Not much. Most of the trades on the swing trading, uh, they are $100 and $200. There is nothing. They're the most we got $400 right now on the YM. And uh, we have the DAX uh, uh, 1000 but uh, most of them, they are between $140 and $120 per trade. There is nothing left. Even on the uh, on the scalper, uh, there is no trade. Uh, one trade out of a twenty chart, we only have one trade on going on on the, the scalper, which is scalper take magnify much smaller trade, uh, folks. Uh, this is okay. Let's see. Maybe we can get a new signal. Hopefully, we get a new signal uh, on the price action automated trading. Let's see. I'm keeping my eye on it. Let's see if we can. Yeah. It's a struggling. It's a struggling market. If we notice, we only have the DAX 767, uh, the YM 420. Russell 300, 290, Russell ES 250, and then we have the 30 year treasury bonds. Most of them are short, and then a Russell at 180. Okay, let's see. Keep your eye, folks, on the 70, 2739. Please keep your eye on the 2739. Could be a heavy projection at 2739. This is your magic number, 2739. Please keep your eye on it before you start getting excited and go long on that. Think about it. If you know what you're doing, fine, enjoy it. But uh, remember, uh, it is a very heavy area. Uh, the 30-year Treasury bonds today, they are doing extremely well. Uh, good movement on the 30-year Treasury bond. Also getting stuck in here. Keep your eye on 2739, please, for the ES traders. If we are able to break those area here, then we're going to have a new signal. I would love to get a new signal for you guys. Uh, let's see. Huh. 
It's like we are begging for a tick. Let's go back on the CL. If you are a CL trader, you have a re-entry point at 72.61. At 72.57 below, we're going to have a, a new signal short entry. So be careful. Uh, this is not a short trade. This is a re-entry point at 72.60 if you wanted to trade uh, long on the Yes, on the CL. Apologize. So after we had the entry, we hit the target. There is nothing left. Fine. Now we are waiting on Uncle ES here. Oh boy. Oh, this is a drag. We're going to wait uh, for a few minutes to see if we can have a new uh, signal. Uh, you have the 30-year treasury bond. Also, you have a short entry. But if you didn't take the short, that's OK. Let's see what's happened here. Come on. Uh, let's look at the NASDAQ. Nothing on the NASDAQ, guys. Be careful with the NASDAQ. We are still waiting on the ES. If you are auto trading, you got to be careful if you're auto trade taking long. Doesn't matter which auto trade you are using. You're going to be having a problem at 39, especially if your auto trade is about to take a trade uh, between those lines, between 38, 25, and 39. <laughs> It's going to be projected at 39 level. Be careful, guys. The 39 level, it is a key here. Major, major, 39 level. I'm going to stay quiet, uh, trying to get refresh my coffee, and uh, I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, that's exactly what happened, guys, right there. Uh, for the Forex traders, you have a re-entry on the British US at 43, uh, 31.9, right there. This is your entry again, re-entry. 
Look at this, guys. We said that an hour ago. You got to be careful with the 39 level. And this is going to make a lot of traders lose money, whether they are automated or manual. This area right there between a projection and resistance is going to be very bad news for the traders. A lot of traders now, uh, by now, they are taking a long, and that is not going to go to their favor. The odds going to win on the long trade here is 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10, folks. Not much. I'm trying to find something. Lately, this market is getting harder and harder. So... We have nothing. The highest number is the Russell. If we look in, we have the Russell is the highest automated swing trading, nailed 340. And then we have the other Russell. The second one is uh, the ES, 300 bucks. This is the highest trade on the swing trading. This is really sad. So. Okay, it's trying again, I think. We are begging for a take. Look at this. Look at the ES, folks. Look at the ES. Right there. 39. This is your magic word. Look. You see there is a lot of buyers. They're trying. You see where it's, how it's blinking? There, there is buyers coming in to, to, to penetrate the 39 level. Look where it stopped. Ha. We said that an hour ago. To the take, folks. They try to push it up, and it fell. To the take. I love trading. It's a game. It's a game you have to understand what they're doing. Some people call it investment. It is a game. It's a war game between you put your account on the table against somebody else's account on the table. It's right there. Now, the sellers start coming in, and we call that trade an hour ago, over an hour ago, we said to go short, for the ones just arrived, we said you go short on the 39 level. And we call that trade an hour ago. I mean, we didn't call the trade, but we told you this is where it's the short. We're not supposed to call trade for you. Anything left? Whoever took that trade short, from 39, He must be a very happy man. Uh, the CL, after we said, once we hit the target, there is nothing left. And I said to all the respect to all the traders, the ones have the 15 minutes chart, three minutes and one minute, and whatever funny Ranko bar. We said there is nothing above the 7266, and we delivered. We delivered everything we say. Let's look at the NASDAQ. It's a hell of a sad story on the NASDAQ. YM. Well, there is a potential on the YM. Let's see. 
Let's go back, put the ES. Let's put the YM here. And go back to the ES. Okay, the sellers are on the run. And uh, whoever took a short from where we called it from 39 level, you have a little turbulence at 36.75 and your target is 36.25. Actually, it's not worth it, those two takes. So whoever took that short, get it over with uh, and uh, get it over with at 36.75. It's not worth those couple ticks. Give it as a tip to do your broker. There we go. A lot of selling. 36.75. Close position from 39 level to 36.75. This is it. Let's see if there's anything to chew on. Nothing. 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 The highest trade we have 678 on the DAX. The second one is 360, 350, 260, CL, 260, 280, 240. It's pathetic for swing trading. Folks, that's all what we have for today. I was hoping that we can get some signals. Uh, we give two signals away today, it's the ES, and we give an entry signal and an exit signal on the CL. So you did not walk away free, and uh, you got some decent entries, and whoever took those trades, congratulations, two trades, they are around four five hundred dollars And uh, we wish you the best, and uh, I will try my best to keep going life as my, uh, as much time as I can. God bless you all and see you another day. Bye for now.